Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Chris Lemmick here at True Nature Hypnotherapy. I help people to uh, heal past traumas, release toxic shame, and connect to their higher self using hypnosis. Um, thanks for watching this video today. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it, and let me know down in the comments uh, if you find this content useful uh, or if you uh, have anything that you wanna share about your personal experience. I, I always love to hear that. So today we're going to talk about expectations and uh, how we get what we expect. And the reason I want to talk about this today is because it's just been coming up in the client sessions that I've uh, had this week where, and it's not just this week, it actually is most of the sessions that I have with, with people. Uh, and that is uh, working with our, our expectations for how our lives are going to unfold. Uh, working with our expectations for um, how we're going to react to certain situations, uh, our expectations when it comes to what we can and can't change, our expectations when it comes to where we're stuck and you know the habits that we're kind of caught up in. So I'll just give you kind of a general example. Um, I'll have a client come in, they'll sit down, I'll check in, hey, how's things going? And uh, they might say something like, you know, oh yeah, things are good, uh, but you know, I've got this big project coming up uh, here at work and I just know that oof, I'm kind of dreading it. I know that it's gonna be stressful. I know that I'm gonna feel you know, anxious. I know that uh, I might even start to feel overwhelmed. And that's when I'm just kind of like, okay, whoa, 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 so let's stop. Stop everything here. Let's look at what you're doing, right? So what you're doing is, is that you know, you're creating an expectation. You are, in a sense, prognosticating the future. You are, based upon your past experience and your past reactions and your past habits, you're making an assumption that because this event is coming, which by the way, it might not <laughs> at all, you know, something might totally change. Project could get canceled or, you know, something else could happen, right? But you're making an assumption that because this thing is coming, it's happening, and because you've reacted this way in the past, you're building up this expectation, this picture, this image in your mind, this feeling in your body that when that thing happens, when that event unfolds, you're going to react in a certain way. And so my job as a hypnotist and a hypnotherapist is to help people to, first of all, recognize when they're doing that, and then also to, to say, well, let's stop that. Let's just stop that and let's change the, the inner dialogue a little bit here. Let's change the expectation. How do you want to feel instead? How do you want to be instead as you move through this coming situation? And so then the person will usually kind of deer in the headlights go like, well, gee, I don't know. So we kind of coax that out, right? We want to find out like, well, what is it? How would you like to respond instead? Uh, because oftentimes we just haven't spent any time thinking about it. We just assumed that that's how things are going to be. This is going to be stressful. It's going to be anxiety inducing. It's going to be overwhelming. So we coax that out. And what we'll get oftentimes is, well, I want to move through it feeling no stress. I want to feel relaxed. I want to feel present. I want to feel enthused. I want to feel creative. I want to feel engaged. Whatever it is, we then start to build that image of the expectation of, hey, when this thing happens, when this project starts, when you show up to work that very day that uh, everything's going to get started here, you're bringing your best version of yourself to it. You're showing up with uh, enthusiasm and excitement and uh, a steadiness, a kind of inner calm and peace. And so then what we'll do is we'll, in the hypnosis session, we will really start to make that more and more and more um, uh, vivid and real in our imaginations and in our bodies. So try that yourself. Think of a time, maybe coming up in the future, where you've got something coming up or, or something that you often have to deal with or face. Think about how you normally expect things to turn out for yourself, how you expect to react. And if it's a negative response, ask yourself, you know, is that negative response, is that really what I want? Do I really want to be stressed, anxious, afraid, disempowered? And simply imagine a different way. Simply imagine a more power, empowered and resourceful state of being that you want to be in. Simply imagine yourself then instead moving through that situation with confidence. Imagine what that would look like as you're moving through that 
situation with confidence. Feel it, experience it in your body, picture it in your mind, make it real, make it vivid, move through that situation now. So now you're starting to train your body and your mind to expect that when that situation arrives, when you are engaged in whatever the activity is or whatever the conversation is or whatever the situation is, that you're now training yourself to respond in this new way, this empowered way, this resourceful way. So again, my name is Chris Lemig here at True Nature Hypnotherapy. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, Again, we get what we expect. What we expect is usually what is going to happen in our lives. So why not expect the best. Why not expect uh, our best possible outcome?